welcome to the latest offering from BMW's new M Performance lineup. What is that, you ask? Well, think of it as a middle ground between the regular BMWs and the full-on M cars. These are basically your typical beamers that are fitted with the biggest non-M engine BMW can find in that series, and they also get some fine tuning from BMW's M division. So basically what we have here is a direct rival for the Audi S6 and the new Mercedes-Benz E43 AMG. This is the M550i and it's the most powerful 5 series you can buy. That is, until the new M5 arrives. It's got a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 up front, drive goes to all four wheels via BMW's excellent X-Drive all-wheel drive system and you also get the excellent ZF 8-speed gearbox as standard. It has 462 horsepower, 650 newton meters of torque and it goes from north to 100 km per hour in 4 seconds. You do realize what I'm saying here, right? A near 2-ton executive sedan is capable of reaching 100 km per hour from standstill, faster than a Porsche 911 Carrera S-Can, and it's as fast as a Ferrari 430. Not only that, but it also outruns the outgoing BMW M5. But driving it around town and on motorways, it feels just like a regular 5 Series. It's very practical, it's comfortable, it's quiet, and it's very easy to drive. It's a lovely family machine. And once you hit the open road and step on its tail, it all changes quite dramatically. Put it in sport mode, the gearbox just so, and for once, a sport mode in a car really makes a big difference. And in the particular case of the M550i, it completely transforms the driving experience. The second you touch the throttle, you get pushed back into your seat and the acceleration is relentless and quite violent sometimes. The gearbox adds even more to that experience with a more ferocious gear shift. It gives you a nice kick in the back of the head when doing upshifts, and I'm happy to report that even though it has more weight added to it, the steering doesn't feel too artificial. It's just right. The suspension is really good as well. The M550i gets the adaptive suspension as standard, and it really fits very well with the Autobahn Cruiser theme that BMW's got going on with the new 5 Series. It's very comfortable and very refined. The only problem I have with it is that even when you're in sport mode, and please take into account that we're talking about an M performance model here, the suspension is a bit too soft for my taste. I would have loved if sport mode would have had the same effect on the suspension as it does on the rest of the car, but hey, maybe it's just another way to distance it from the new M5. I've never driven the old M5 nor have I experienced it from the passenger seat, but after giving this car the full beams in the past couple of days, I can definitely believe this is faster. Yup, this is something I believe without actually testing it. This car is terrifyingly quick. I love it. And remember what I said about the 540i in one of my previous videos? Something to the regard like, it feels that the chassis can handle much more than 340 horsepower? Well, let me just tell you that the 462 horsepower of this M550i is pretty much maxing out the chassis capabilities. Even though BMW tried to place the engine as far back as they could under the bonnet, this superb twin-turbo V8 is simply too heavy for the chassis to handle. If you just gently touch the throttle mid-corner, the car will understeer like crazy, and at that point it'll pretty much stop taking the corner and just go straight ahead. So yeah, the M550i is definitely not a B-road blaster, but more of a muscle car and a pretty good autobahn cruiser. One thing that's really annoying about the sport mode in this car is the amount of fake noise that's being pumped 
through the speakers. Why BMW? Why would you cover up such a glorious sounding V8 is beyond my capabilities of understanding. I mean, I totally understand why you would do that on a diesel, but on this, it beats me. And I also understand the fact that this cabin is so well insulated that you might not hear the exhaust. But if that's the case, why not just channel some induction noise from the engine? Speaking about this well insulated interior, let's have a bit of a look through the specs, shall we? We have these lovely and super comfortable Napa leather seats. They're heated, ventilated and obviously electrically controlled. Then there's the M Sport heated steering wheel, the professional navigation system that now comes with a touchscreen, the multifunction instrument display and last but not least, the car is also fitted with the perfect way to destroy a top quality interior, fake leather on the dash. Yeah. The electric sunroof is always a great option no matter what car you have and on the M550i I would say it's absolutely a must have option if you wanna hear that V8 rumble a bit better on the inside. The car is finished in grey stone metallic as was pretty much every 5 series I've filmed this year. It has the 20 inch wheels that are exclusive to the M550i, twin tailpipes which are not fake for once and grey aluminium accents everywhere that are present on all M performance models. So what does this all add up to? Well, hold on to something before I tell you. This car costs a smidge over 100,000 euros. Yup, I know. What more can I tell you about the M550i? I'm a really big fan of this car. I think it's a perfect long distance cruiser. And even though there's a big price difference between this and the 540i, this one is about 40% more expensive. I would still recommend you buy this car if you're really looking for something special from BMW's petrol side of the garage. So yeah, as far as I'm concerned, this car fixes all the issues the M540 I had and then some. But please let me know your thoughts on the new M550i in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for many more videos to come.